CKXU is a campus community radio station at the University of Lethbridge. It started out in 1972 as an AM station and made the transition to the FM dial in 2004. Broadcasting at 100 watts across Lethbridge, the station has a diverse body of around 100 volunteers. CKXU will benefit from the levy increase of $2. The following video is a testimony as to how and why we could use the levy increase. I'm here with Nick Bango, Station Manager and Executive Director here at CKXU. Nick, can you tell us a little bit about your job? Sure. As the uh, Station Manager and Executive Director, I handle a lot of the administrative stuff around the station. I do uh, finance, payroll, accounting, uh, and a lot of equipment and maintenance. Uh, I also have to make sure that we follow all CRTC guidelines and regulations and things like that. Okay. Uh, first question I've got for you, Nick. Why does CKXU need this levy increase? Well, we need money, to be honest. Uh, our levy was first initiated 11 years ago at $3, and it hasn't been increased since. Uh, so despite inflation and the rising costs of running a station like this, uh, we haven't received an increase in money. What we've had to do is try more fundraising and things like that, and as well uh, selling advertising. Uh, but for a campus community radio station, advertising isn't generally a big revenue generator, so it's just down to fundraising. And with that, we don't have any money to grow, uh, to develop, and to improve our station. Here with Jen Prosser. She's the uh, program director here at CKXU. Jen, to tell us about your job. Hey everyone. Uh, well, I'm the program director at CKXU, and that means I'm in charge of programming. So everything you hear on air is what I do. Um, I uh, get volunteers to come in, and we look at what they want to do on air, and then I try and fit them in our schedule the best way that we can. All right, Jen, so the levy referendum that we've got coming up here for CKXU, uh, if the levy were to be passed, what would the station use it for? What would you like to see the station use it for? Uh, well, if the levy were to be passed, the station could use it for many, many things. Uh, our wish list is pretty long right now, but we definitely want to look at starting to get more syndicated programs. There's lots of programs out there internationally that would really benefit the Lethbridge community, and I would love to be able to access those programs. However, a lot of them need funding themselves, so for us to access them means that we have to fund them. Also, right now our library system is in crazy need of some help. We need a bigger library, renovations, more organization, more space. Just really more space is the biggest issue and money is needed for that as well. Uh, right now, also, we are using these beautiful old school log file programs, which means pen and paper. Uh, it'd be really awesome if we could have a computerized system like a lot of other campus community stations where DJs only have to access the certain uh, like IDs or promos that you hear on the air through a computer system and the computer tells them when they have to be played. It makes it a lot easier for DJs to track, it makes it a lot easier for us to program it in, and it makes it a lot easier for just like the flow of the show to have a consistency. Uh, there's tons of other things that we could use the money for. Um, station space is a big one, new equipment, microphones, we need. We would like a new soundboard, it'd be fantastic. Upgrading equipment's a, such a good way to reward DJs for their hard work. Alright, so people, uh, the levy referendum that we've got coming up here, we're asking students to give us a little bit more money. Um, what would you like to see that spent on? Oh, the list is endless. We have so much stuff new that we need here at the station, like better stuff in the production room. Or we need new uh, CD players and a mixing board and just all kinds of stuff. Like Some of the things that would help me is uh, a lot of lot more space here, like renovations, so we can get rid of all these piles of CDs that we see everywhere. Um, tons of stuff, like like old, we need new computers, these things are like so old, like it's just frustrating to work on them because they're so slow and constantly crashing and just stuff like that, stuff that really slows down my job. But And there's a lot of other things I could be working on rather than trying to get the stupid computer going. So, so, so it would be fair to say that your job has been limited by the fact that uh, we don't have enough money? Yeah, there's a lot of other things I could be working on, like getting new music here, getting new labels, uh, keeping track of what the DJs are playing rather than trying to work on things from with old technology, old printers that don't work, old computers. Like Hello, I'm here with Shane Thompson, librarian at CKXU. Shane, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, here at uh, CKXU, I uh, alphabetize and organize the 
over 25,000 CDs and records that we have that uh, record companies send to us on a weekly basis, actually on a daily basis. Um, I uh, also, every single week, uh, old new music that we call playlist, I, it's my job to put back into the library so that uh, the uh, DJs can use that music on their show uh, when it need be. Excellent. Say the library. All right, Shane. Uh, we're we're here in part of the library. We can't give you a really good sense of how big this is yeah, because uh, it is it's awful small. tight in here. It is very small. It is awful tight in here. Shane, though, why don't you tell me why are all these boxes just sitting on the floor here? Um, basically, we have ran out of space here at the in the library, and I've been trying my darndest all summer to uh, keep it under uh, control, but it has overflown, uh, overflowed, and um, I need some help uh, from volunteers so if you still want to volunteer I have work for you to do if you want to be a volunteer at CKXU as well uh, just uh, it's summertime and people get busy during the summertime and I just ran out of time to actually finish all the work that I had to get done okay so Jen could you show us an example maybe of an online uh, tracking system yeah, definitely. This is from WNYU, which is a campus community radio station in New York. As you can see, this is their website. And to uh, access their schedule, you just go to the playlist, and then it comes up. So if you see here, you can see all the tracks being played by this one person's show, which you can access by date using the calendar right here. So playlist for the program, new afternoon show, host Alex, and you just take a look to see what they played. Really, really simple. Big Bango, could you explain to us how the online stream works and what we could do to upgrade it if we did get this referendum levy passed? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the way it works currently is uh, this machine here, the receiver, grabs our broadcast off of the FM uh, frequency. It uh, translates it into a digital form through this computer here, and then this computer acts as a server which broadcasts it over the internet uh, at ckxu.com uh, through a webcast. Um, what really sucks about this is that when there's a static received through the receiver here, you get that over the internet. And as well, every time uh, a feed goes through a different system, you lose a little bit of quality. So right now our internet broadcast quality isn't really all that good. Like You can hear it, but it's, it's definitely not as sharp as it would be if you tuned in through the FM band. A better way to do it would be to get rid of this altogether and get rid of uh, this really old server that you see here and run it just off of the, uh, uh, the line that goes uh, to the FM broadcast tower. Uh, so you get it before it goes to the airwaves, so you don't get any of the static or anything in there. Uh, but to do that, you need a new computer setup, something that isn't as old as this. And uh, if we had a setup like that, we could also podcast shows as well, which is uh, something that we're really behind in the times with. It'd be good if we could podcast our shows, because then you don't have to tune in at a specific time to hear them. You can tune in any time. Please vote yes on CKXU in the ULSU referendum. Polls run from Friday, October 26th at 9 a.m. until Tuesday, October 30th at 4 p.m. Vote online at www.ulsu.ca.